welcome to my channel, Cajun Girl Cooking. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe. Let's get started. I'm going to take my washed peppers, cut them in half. And I want to keep this green bit just so it can be pretty. Cut down here. And we're just going to carve out the middle. And that's how your pepper should look. Yep. And I'll go ahead and do the rest. Now, I'm going to take my peppers face down. Drizzle olive oil because of course we have to season everything. Season them with a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Yep. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil, olive oil in my pan. All right, I'm gonna add my onions to this. My bell pepper. My green onion, not all of my green onion because I wanna use some for garnish. So just a little bit of that. Add my garlic. I'm also gonna add bell pepper, yellow bell pepper. This is about a half bell pepper. Just to give it a bit more color. I'm also going to add my dry herbs. My Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning. Garlic powder. And pepper. Alright. Let's mix that in. Now I want these to sweat down and we'll add the sausages once these have sweated down a bit. Now I'm gonna add my sausages because my vegetables are starting to sweat down. Now I'm gonna add my rice, which is about a cup and a half of rice. Mix that in. I'm gonna add chopped tomatoes. One can of that. And I have chicken stock, which I'm gonna add. It's about two cups of chicken stock. I'll be adding my shrimp to this towards the very end. Now I'm going to let this simmer until my rice is cooked through, okay? And of course we want to taste to see how the flavors are, yeah? Flavors are dead. Okay. So halfway through the cooking process, I am now going to add my shrimp, which have been seasoned with my Cajun seasoning, paprika, and garlic powder. So I'm just gonna add that now to my jambalaya. And I'm gonna mix this in. Can you see that? It's looking real good right now. Now obviously my rice haven't cooked through just as of yet, but I'm gonna continue to cook for about five to seven minutes. So I'm going to take my bay leaf out, remove that, and this is how your jambalaya should be looking, like that. It is now ready to eat and be served. Look at that. So now I'm going to take my cooked peppers that were in the oven for about 10 minutes. I'm going to take my jambalaya. And I'm now going to start filling them. Look at all that goodness. You see that? That is my jambalaya. 
And I'm gonna stuff these with that. Just let them overflow a bit. Yep. So that's one pepper ready. So now that I have all of my peppers filled, I'm just gonna put them back in the oven for about five to 10 minutes, just so they can crisp up. And then they'll be ready to serve. Jambalaya stuffed filled.